Hello and welcome back to Irish Chippy Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of this uh, crimping tool. It, it's a crimping tool for Deutsch connectors. Uh, I have it for about a year now. I've only used it about three times. Many of these crimpers are, are uh, very expensive, but uh, the JR Ready one, I'm not saying it's budget, it's still expensive, but it's, uh, it's, ver it's affordable for people that uh, don't want to spend five or six hundred dollars on one. Plus the fact that it, it doesn't just do t uh, DT, it does DTM and DTP. And DTP is uh, power, so the P is for power. There are also other ones like uh, DT uh, HD or something like that, which I have never done, so I don't know. Uh, it has the range, uh, adjustable range here for crimping. There have this safety one on it. I'll just take it off. It still clips in place without that. So. It has a little line here. This one has got kind of a graffiti on it. <laughs> uh, I bought that one because I thought it looked nice. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's just uh, like splash paint on it. Maybe it makes it a little bit more difficult to see, but no, not really. So I have it set here at uh, one millimeter or 16 uh, AWG. So you can, I can see it here and it's 16. Uh, you have to uh, pull it up to, to adjust it. So when you're adjusting it, open it out like this and turn it. Don't don't uh, don't uh, don't adjust it while while it is uh, pu pulled in because they might be hitting off. It's much easier to adjust it this way. So I will give you all the sizes. So it starts off at uh, AWG 22, which is 0.35 millimeter square. It gives the metric as well. And then it gives number 20, which is 0.5 uh, millimeter square. And then it gives uh, 18, which is 0.75 millimeter square. And then it gives 16, which is 1.0 uh, millimeter squared. And, and then it gives 1.5. And then it gives two. It doesn't give them an AWG three because there is not really one between four. These are both between uh, 16 and 14. And then of course, 2.5 square. Uh, 2.5 square is number 14, which most of us know. It also does a 3.012, and that is the highest one it is. So it does 3.0 square. So that would be our DTHD, I imagine, which I have not done. But for the purposes of this, and for the purposes of most ones that we will be doing with the DT, you will be using number 16. The 16 are rated at 13 amp, whereas the DTM are 7.5 amp. The DTHD goes from 60 to 100 amp, but we are not going to do that today. We, as I said, we're going to do the 16. So I will set this, I open it out. Remember to open it out when you are setting it. So we'll put the clip back on. Uh, uh, it's not going to move. You have to pull this up and, and turn it. But it, it comes with the clip, so we will put the clip on like so. Now, the next adjustment you have to do is, if you are doing 16 all the time, then you have no adjusting to do. You will loosen this screw here and adjust it with this one. So what we do is we put one pin in and we try and have it flush here. They call them pins and, and sockets, but for me, I call them male and female. They're what called solid. Uh, they're solid in the sense that these are solid here. They, they are not pressed. And solid is way, way better than pressed. This is the pin here, and this is the socket, or this is the male and this is the female. So they slide in, they are so, they slide in so well. That's why people prefer these for doing electrics in their cars or their airplanes. Here are some plain Deutsch connectors uh, uh, that I have here uh, for, for number 16. And this part here is called the receptacle. And the receptacle takes the mail or the pin and the plug, this is called the plug which goes in here. I will show you in one moment. The plug takes the female, okay, or the socket. In other words, the one here that is the widest. So we will do it like this. So this one goes in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a pair of them and then we will, uh, we will take you on to, uh, see that clicks in there like that, and then it clicks in. 
and then we take them out, we have to pull this. They are waterproof or water resistant. So what we do is we put one of our number 16 or our 16 or they call it 16 and we put it in here and it should be uh, flush with, with your finger here like this. And then we adjust the green one on the bottom to get it flush like that. And then we tighten and then we tighten this one. So we get this one right and then we tighten this. And then we're set up and we don't need to do any more. We strip the wire back approximately seven millimeters is what I normally do. Uh, uh, you, you, can, you can check yourself. If you want to put the pin inside this first, it, it might grip it and then you won't be able to get it out. So then I push this in the whole way and tighten in like, and then tighten in and then tighten in as tight as you can and then you can see where it made a huge indent here and here now maybe I should have maybe I had it sticking out slightly too much because I cannot see my inspection hole my inspection hole so I had it sticking out slightly too much for the next one we will adjust it slightly different then we just push this one in and squeeze And yeah, we have gone down a bit further. I can see the inspection hole here and I can see the wire in there. So these go in together inside the Dutch connector. Now what we'll do, I'll do the same for the, for the other two. So now I have done, uh, I have done uh, the four connectors, the two females and the two males. I have put the pins over on the side of the receptacle so that we get them the correct way around. If you're doing this regular, you won't need to do this, but if you're doing it for the first or second time, always put them, line them up, and you know that these two are going in like this. So what we do is, as we said, we're putting the pin or the male into the receptacles. So we just push it through the seal here like this. We hear a click. Now the rubber sometimes come out. Don't worry about that. You can push that back in afterwards. That's the seal. And we will put the yellow one in this side. You will hear the click. You must listen for the click. If there... Pick up our wedge and we face it this way. And we push it in. You can use a, a pinky nose pliers if you like. And then you can use a flat screwdriver to just push it down. It clicks in place like that. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it in there. Uh, in order to take that out later on, I was going to do it later for you. You make yourself, uh, you buy yourself one of these tools like this, but I made this one myself. And you push this one in and you, you just uh, pull it out like that. And there it is out. Uh, and then you can reuse your, uh, your, and then you can reuse it. That's the receptacle done. Uh, <laughs> And make sure that when you are doing them, that you have them lined up again like this, so that you put the yellow one on the correct side. So I'm putting, I'm putting the, the female in here, like this, and it's the same, it should click. You can pull this back over it if you like, and push it in later. Some people do that. and it only clicks in a little bit. In order to remove these ones, you put the, 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 a flat screwdriver in here like this, in on the back, and pull the little tab and it opens out like this. So it's slightly different. So these should be lined up in here on these. So we'll put the red one on now as well. And uh, we will push this one in as well. And it doesn't have to get as big a tug it goes into this place here, but it won't come out when you there. Uh, when it, it won't come out when you tug on it. So then we'll pull the seal, the water seal, up onto it, and you can use a flat screwdriver to push that in, or your nails. Female done like this on the plug. Then you get your orange wedge, and then we get our orange wedge, and we push it in here and just seat it in like that. 
and then we have our receptacle done. This also holds the rubber from falling off when you're opening and closing at the weather seal on the joint. And make sure they're pushed in on both sides and then we push this one in. It's like a little bit rubbery and then you see this one here clicks up and that's our joint done. That's our Deutsch connector done, our number 16 Deutsch connector perfect for wiring inside your car or on your boat or even on your light aircraft the ones for anything that's 13 amps so that's my review of the jr ready uh, crimper for deutsch connectors it'll do as i said it'll do dtm dt and dtp i am not sure if it does DTHD but I think it does because of the setting that's on it the higher settings which is higher than uh, DT power so uh, it will probably do the HD as well I put a link in the description where I bought this tool and the crimps and uh, I bought them on Amazon and thank you very very much for watching and if you like this video or any of our other videos please subscribe